you can draw this in Procreate. During this Procreate tutorial, I will be guiding you through the steps of creating this fun illustration. We'll start off with a rough little sketch, then we'll create our line art, and then finally add colors and lighting effects. Don't worry, you don't need any experience with drawing or with Procreate, and I'm sure that once you have reached the end of this tutorial, you will feel so proud that you just need to share your results. So if you do, just be sure to tag me if you're sharing your work on Instagram, tag me in the image, not just in the description. That way I will be able to find your work and maybe we'll see it in the next video. Just like these awesome results from my friends at Patreon. If you end up with a Procreate addiction after watching this video, then you need to go to Patreon because there I have over a hundred more Procreate tutorials. But of course you can also check all the free tutorials I have here at YouTube. But now let's get started with this one. For this tutorial, I'm working on a canvas that is 3000 by 2300 pixels and the color profile is set to sRGB. I have linked a color palette in the description. You can download that for free. And during this tutorial, we will be using free Procreate brushes only. If you like free Procreate brushes, then be sure to go to freefromflow.com if you haven't already, because there I have more than 70 free Procreate brushes for you, plus an ebook about color theory, also totally free. But now let's get started with this tutorial. So grab your pen or your finger and let's do this. Like I said, we are going to get started with a sketch, a rough little sketch to decide where all our objects will be. But I don't like staring at a white canvas, so first let's give our background a color. Let's go to the color palette and grab this second color in the first row of the color palette. And then let's just drag that color onto our canvas. Now at least we don't have to stare at that white canvas anymore. Next thing we'll do is create a new layer on top of this layer. Don't forget this step, otherwise you'll regret it. Let's tap the plus for a new layer. And now we need a sketching brush. I like using the chalk pencil brush, which is part of the treasure chest brush pack. Like I said, you can get it through freefromflow.com or you can use any other sketching brush like the HB pencil, which is a Procreate standard brush, for example. And now for our color, you can just grab a dark gray. The color doesn't really matter. If you prefer sketching with red, then that's fine as well. Now the opacity of this brush of my chalk pencil is set to 100%. And the size, I have that set to 15%. And in our scene, in our desk top view illustration, I want there to be a phone. Because what would you do without a phone to watch some tutorials or other favorite YouTube videos? So let's make a rectangular shape. Let's first just make a line like this. You can hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick line and then tap one finger on the screen to make sure that it's perfectly vertical. Then we'll go to the right over here and again hold one finger on the screen. Then we'll go back up, hold your finger on the screen and then back to the left, hold your finger on the screen. Now we have a nice rectangular shape. Now we can go to the move and transform tool. That's the little arrow up here. Make sure to set it to uniform. That way you can resize it by dragging the handle here in the corner without changing the ratio. Now let's make it a little bit smaller and rotate it. And I want to place it about here. And we can always move our objects later. It doesn't really matter, but let's go for this position for now and then tap the arrow again. Now let's make a new layer on top of this one. So tap the plus. And we are making a new layer so we can move the objects around very easily. Right here in the corner, I want there to be an iPad, but just, just a corner of an iPad. So let's make a corner shape. Let's first make a vertical line like this. Tap your finger on the screen to make sure that it's perfectly vertical. And then a line like this. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen like this. Then we'll move it again. So we'll go to the move and transform tool. We'll rotate it a bit. And I want it to be in the corner here. Maybe rotate it a little bit more. And then I want it to be a bit less rotated. 
something like this. I want this area to be, well, right in the center, in the vertical center. And this corner is almost in the center, like the horizontal center of our canvas. So a bit like this. Then just tap the arrow again. Now here on the left, I want there to be a coffee or a teacup. Let's make a new layer again. So go to the layer menu, tap the plus, so we can move our object around. And now let's draw a circle. Just draw a circle, hold your pen in place, and tap one finger on the screen to make it perfectly round. Then let's go to the Move and Transform tool, the little arrow, and let's move it to about here. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. I think this is looking good. Then tap the arrow and then let's duplicate this layer. We can do that by going to the layer menu, drag to the left on the layer, then tap duplicate. And then let's go to the move and transform tool again to make this one a little bit smaller to create that edge of our cup. Let me make it a little bit bigger so that that edge is a little bit thinner. Something like this, then tap the arrow again. And now let's create the handle of our cup. So that's a bit shaped like a rounded rectangle. Something like this. And in our tea or our coffee, we'll also see these rounded shapes. A blob like this. One like this, and maybe some smaller bubbles like this, and two small ones over here to make it look more like coffee or tea. And over here, we need another object. I think it would be nice to add a little to-do list there. So first, let's make a new layer again by tapping the plus, and then we'll make a new rectangular shape. And now let's first make a vertical line again Hold your pen in place, then tap one finger on the screen. Then we'll go to the right. Hold our pen in place and one finger on the screen. And then we'll go back down. Tap one finger on the screen. So now we have a nice rectangular shape. We don't need the bottom part because it'll be partly in sight. So let's go to the move and transform tool, the little arrow. And let's move it around. Let's rotate it a little bit. And we can also use freeform to make it a little bit thinner. Then back to uniform. Let's make our canvas a little bit zoomed out. I think over here looks nice. And then let's duplicate this. So we'll go to the layer menu, slide to the left, tap duplicate, then go to the move and transform tool again. And we'll rotate this one a little bit more and place it a bit lower. This looks fine. Then let's make a new layer again for some more objects. Let's, let's tap the plus. And over here, I want a little eraser. It's also a rectangular shape. We can sketch it a little bit. It has some more rounded corners. like this. And then over here, I want there to be AirPods. Now I have a nice reference over here, so I can use that. So we have this rounded shape. So it will look something like this. And then we have the earbuds. We can make them a bit more simplified. So we'll have this shape and then something like this. We can just make it more stylized. And for the other one, if you don't feel like sketching another one, then just go to the selection tool, the S shape ribbon, set it to freehand, make sure that color fill is not turned on and select this. 
like this, just tap that circle. Then you can swipe down with three fingers and use duplicate. Now over here, use flip horizontal and then just move this around like this. And then you don't have to go through the trouble of drawing another one. And then tap the arrow again. Next, let's make an Apple Pencil. We'll do that on a new layer again so we can move it around. Let's tap the plus. And now we'll make a pretty long horizontal line. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen. And then make another one right underneath. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen. So now we have two parallel lines. We just need that point a tip of our pen. So let's make a triangular shape over here. So it will look something like this, a little bit rounded right around the edges. And here we have that little line for the tip. And we also have that flat part. So let's make another line over here, hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen, and then make it a bit rounded over here. So like this, now we have a nice basic pencil and we can move it around. Let's go to the move and transform tool. Let's rotate it and it should be right here with our iPad of course. Now let's continue sketching. Let's make a new layer again, just to be sure. And let's work on our iPad a little bit. I want it to be covered by an iPad cover. And it has these, well, it's like an origami cover. I used to have it for my older iPad. And you could fold it and it has these different Three different sections with a little bit of a rounded area. So I'm making these sections here just to break the shape a little bit. Otherwise it would just be like a black surface or a flat color. It would be a little bit boring. Over here it will be a little bit rounded as well around a corner. Now let's add a little cable because this iPad is charging just so it's ready for another tutorial. So let's add a little cable here. A little bit of a wiggly shape. So there we have our cable. And let's add some rounded corners to our phone. Let's just adjust this sketch a little bit. And this sketch will be our guide when we create our line art. This, this phone is also charging. So let's add a cable here as well. A little shape like this. And then for the cable, let's make First move our canvas, then make like an S shape for this cable. And then another one right underneath. Maybe we can make this a little bit thicker. And we also need the inside, like the glass of our phone. Let's go back to that layer with our phone. That should be the first one over here, layer two. Let's duplicate that layer by sliding to the left and then tap duplicate. Then go to the move and transform tool and make this a little bit smaller. You can use free form to pull it out of proportion. something like this maybe rotate it a bit you can also use this distort to get even more control 
Just try to make the edge the same width all around and then tap the arrow again. You know what? Let's just merge all of these sketch layers now. Let's pinch them all together. Just don't pinch them with the blue background layer. And now let's continue refining our sketch. For instance, in the corner here, I would like to add a nice little plant that's covering our scene a little bit. Now let's start with a leaf that will be covering our phone a bit. Create a bit like a heart shape here. Pointy leaf. And another leaf on top. We'll make multiple leaves overlapping to add some depth here. Pointy shape here, then another leaf here that is covering the coffee a bit. So another pointy hard like shape. And there's a leaf over here. Just a wiggly shape. Let's make a little stem here. And over here, let's also make a leaf which is almost covering that cable. And a smaller leaf right underneath here. This is looking fine. Now let's work on this area. I want to add a pen and a pencil over there. So first let's make a new layer again by tapping the plus. And let's make a horizontal line, hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen and make another one right underneath. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen, then let's rotate it and turn this into a pencil, like a real pencil with a little tip and the well, shape like this. Add another line, hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen, and now we have a basic pencil. Let's move it around by using the move and transform tool. And we are going to place it right over here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Oh, of course we need to set it to uniform here. Make it a little bit bigger. I want it to be over here. Let me rotate it a bit more. There. Then for a pen, let's make a new layer again. Go to the layer menu, tap the plus, and then let's make two horizontal lines again. Line one, tap your finger on your screen. And another one, tap your finger on the screen. Then let's zoom in. And let's make a shape like this like half of a hexagon. Do it over here as well. The other way around. Now let's rotate. And let's make these lines. That's like the top of our pen. And two more lines. Like this. And then we can move it around by going to the Move and Transform tool. And let's place it right next to our pencil over here. Tap the arrow. And now let's add some holes to these, well, to this little to-do list. Let's first merge all these layers. We can do that now. Just don't merge it with the purple one. And now let's make the little circles. Try putting an equal amount of spacing in between. So something like this. And this one is ripped. So we need these little openings here at the top. And then we need to do the same over here. So more of these circles. I 
had seven over there, so I need seven here as well. And then we have the rings. Let's make a new layer for those. Let's tap the plus and let's make a little ring. Let's make a circle like this. Let's use edit shape here at the top. Make it a little bit more like an oval shape. And then tap the brush and make another one right on the inside. Again, use edit shape to move it around a bit. I think something like this looks perfect. Let's tap the brush and now let's duplicate this. Let's go to the layer, drag to the left, tap duplicate. Then go to the move and transform tool here and move it to the other hole. Now we need to duplicate it again. What we can do is just select both of these layers, drag them on, drag them onto our canvas to make two more. Now let's select the bottom two, go to the move and transform tool and move these in this direction. Now let's go to the layer menu again, drag these onto the canvas. Again, select the bottom two, go to the move and transform, place them over here. And now we need one more. So let's just grab that bottom one, slide to the left, tap duplicate, move and transform, place it over here. Then we need to erase parts of these rings. Let's go to our eraser. Let's set it to our chalk pencil brush. And then let's zoom in and let's erase this part. We'll go to the next one. Which is it? That's that one. And then to the next. Ah, that's that one over here. You know what? We can actually merge these and then erase the parts. Let's just merge all of the sketch layers. Grab our eraser and erase this part. We can clean up our sketch a little bit. Let me make the brush a little bit smaller, maybe 9%. We can also erase this little area. Now we have these clean looking rings. And remember, this is just a guide for our, our line art. So you can clean the sketch up as much as you like. The most important thing is that you understand your own sketch. Like here, we have the line of that paper. You can clean it up so you can see the pen or you can just go over in the line art phase and just keep in mind that you don't have to create that line of course just like over here and here through our pen we don't need that line in our line art now what i do want in our line art is two stickers on this ipad cover if you're having issues with drawing, if you think this is all pretty hard, you can make it easier on yourself and use some emojis, actually. Let's go to the wrench, then to add, then to add text, and then tap this little world icon over here. Now let's go and grab an emoji. I want a four-leaf clover. Where is it? There we have it this one over here just tap it then tap the brush then go to the move and transform tool and let's place this one over here like this then let's add another one so we'll go to the wrench again to add to add text tap the little world icon and now let's also add a little star then go to the move and transform tool and place this one over here. Now let's pinch these together and then let's lower the opacity to 
around 50%. Let's drag it underneath our sketch layer, then go back to the sketch layer, grab your brush, and then make a little sketch of the four leaf clover and of the star. You don't have to follow it exactly. So we have this shape and then we have the star. Like that. And once you have that, you can remove that layer again. Just slide to the left and tap the lead and then go back to layer two. Now for our phone, I want the phone to be on and this person is watching YouTube. So the YouTube screen is open. Here we have like the bar with, with the battery life and the time. Then we have a video thumbnail, a little text underneath. And then underneath there, there's another video thumbnail. Let's just make these lines so we'll know where we want those areas to be. Here we'll have a little icon, a little circle over here as well for the title of the video. And finally, let's add a little line here on those, well, that AirPod case. And right here on the to-do list, I want the text to do, but it will be covered by the pen a little bit. So it will look like this. And then we have these little check boxes. And these lines on which you can write. And let's add these little dashes on our eraser here. Now I think we have all the items that we need on our desktop. So it's time to start creating the line art. Now to create the line art, first we need to lower the opacity of this layer a bit. So tap the N on the layer, drag the slider to the left, and let's set it to 40, 41, 40, 40%. 40 and then make a new layer. Again, a very important step. Please don't skip this. Tap the plus. And then for the brush, we will use a Procreate standard brush. Under the inking brushes, we'll use the dry ink brush. And for our color, let's go to the color palette. We are going to use this first color in the first row. Then for the size and opacity, the opacity is at 100%. And let's set the size to 25%. Now with this brush, the harder you press, the thicker your line will become. I'm going to use light pressure. If you are having issues with using light pressure, then please just lower the size of the brush. Now we are going to add line art to this work. Just keep in mind for the pen, for example, that you shouldn't make this line of the iPad because the pen is covering the iPad. Same goes here with the leaf that's covering the phone. Don't make these lines for the phone. So let's just start right here in the corner by adding lines to these leaves. Here as well, you don't have to make that line because this leaf is covered by the other leaf. this one and of course you don't have to follow your sketch exactly so just continue adding all the lines until you have them all now this is the perfect time to pause the video and to check out my line art and see if you have missed anything now over here we can add a little bit of extra for instance we can draw just a little like battery, maybe a Wi-Fi signal, and some other bars. And here we can add some text 
And since we can write, you can draw this. It doesn't have to be super well written. It can be a little bit scribbly. We can scribble a bit over here. And this is another, you can draw this. Scribble, scribble. And over here, we can also add a little bit of scribbles as if something is written there. And as you can see, the line art, it's not super tidy. It's a little bit wonky in some places. It adds a little bit of interest to this drawing. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean. Of course you could go for that look, but that's not what I'm aiming for in this illustration. Oh, let's also add some veins to the leaves at this point. I have made my brush a little bit smaller, by the way. It's at 10% right now. But perhaps you had already made it smaller because it's hard to control the pressure with this brush. So it's nice to have it at a bit of a smaller size. Well, let's make these veins for these leaves. Just some random veins like this. Then for this one, rounded shape. Then these like side branches. And for this one, And over here, we have this small leaf. And this one over here. And now we have everything we need. We can actually turn off our sketch layer. And here we can see all our lines. Now to fill all these shapes with colors, we can just go ahead and drag in colors because these lines, they are a bit wonky. They have some holes. It's really hard to get like a clean fill with these types of lines. You will always get some blank parts. It's hard to fill them. So what we'll do is we'll use the selection tool to fill all of these shapes, but we will fill them on separate layers and those layers need to be underneath our line art layer. So let's tap layer two and tap the plus for a new layer. And then let's go to the color palette and grab this color over here. It'll be the color for our phone. It's the third color in the first row. Then go to the selection tool, set it to color fill while you have it set to freehand. And now tap over here and over here to make a straight line. And go like this, follow the leaf. Go up here, then to this corner. Make a rounded shape here, then go all the way to the bottom here. Make a rounded shape here. Go to this corner. Then you can make a rounded shape again and close the selection. Now let's make a new layer on top of this one by tapping the plus. And then we will grab another color and we are going to grab this last color in the first row. Now let's grab the selection tool again and make a selection of the inside of the phone. Try to do it nice and tidy like this. Then I want another color for these areas. So let's go to the layer menu, tap the plus, and then grab another color. Let's grab this fourth color in the first row. Again, we'll go to the selection tool. Let's zoom in a little bit more and let's make selections of these thumbnail areas. You can just tap in these corners and this one. Close it and then tap the S shape ribbon again. So now we have colored our phone. Now let's color all of the other objects. Let's go to the next color. This one over here, fifth color in the first row. Let's use that for the iPad. Let's tap the plus for a new layer. Grab the S shape ribbon again. Let's first tap over here and let's go through our pen. You can just color that on a layer on top to here, then loop around, 
close the selection and now we have colored our iPad. Then tap the S shape ribbon again to get out of there and let's move on to the next color, the sixth color in the first row. Let's make a new layer by tapping the plus, grab the S shape ribbon and let's use this for this pen over here. Let's tap like this, close the selection and on this layer let's also add the other color for the pen. Let's tap the S shape ribbon again. Let's grab another color. Let's grab this one over here, fourth color in the second row. Grab the S shape ribbon. And then let's make a selection like this to color that part of the pen. Then tap the S shape ribbon again. And now let's do the same for the pencil. Let's also put that on this layer. Now for the color, let's first grab this one over here, fourth color in the third row, then grab the S shape ribbon. And of course you could also do this with, for example, the monoline brush and color this in by hand. That, that would also be an option. But with the selection tool, you can make these nice straight lines very easily. Tap the S shape ribbon again. And let's move on to the next color. Oh, I can see I have left a little part here. Let's just color that in by hand. And for the next color, we'll use the third color in the third row. Grab the selection tool. And then go over this area. And tap the S shape ribbon again. And on this layer, we can actually color some more objects. This layer is on top of our iPad layer. So we need to color things that are also on top or outside of our iPad layer. For instance, we can color this eraser or the stickers. Now let's go grab a color. Let's grab the second color in the second row and let's use that for our four leaf clover. We'll grab the S shape ribbon. Let's make a selection. Close the selection and there we have it. Then tap the S shape ribbon again. Move on to the next color. We'll use the color for the star. That's this color, fourth color in the second row. Grab the selection tool. and then select the inside of this star. Tab the S shape ribbon again. Then for our eraser, I want to use this color, second color in the third row, grab the selection tool, and let's color the outer ends like this. Then tap the S shape ribbon and grab the other color, which is the first color in the third row. Grab the selection tool again. And then select the inner part. I think we miss a little part. Let's grab the brush. And let's just color that in by hand. Then for the Apple Pencil, we will use this color over here, the last color in the first row. Grab the selection tool. Start at the tip and go over here. Then go all the way to the end and tap here. Make a nice straight line. And close the selection. Then tap the S shape ribbon again. Check if you haven't missed anything. And on this layer, let's also color the AirPods. Grab the selection tool again. Select the earbuds. And we'll select the case. Don't worry about the cable. We'll color that on a layer on top of this one. Tap the S shape ribbon. And now let's go for the cup. Now for the cup, I think it's easier to go and grab a brush. Let's go to the calligraphy brushes. Use the monoline brush. I have it set to 100% opacity. 
the size is at 10 percent but doesn't really matter and now let's just go ahead and make a circle or semi-circle hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape you can go to edit shape to adjust it a little bit and then we can drag in the color to fill the area now when i look at this line art i do feel like this inner edge of the cup should also be visible here so let's fix that let's go to the line art layer grab the inking brush the dry ink brush then grab our first color in the first row and let's add a little edge over here i think that looks better i will grab another color we'll grab this ninth color in the first row Let's go back to the coloring layer, layer 8 here. And then let's grab the S shape ribbon. And let's select this area. We'll also use this for the charger, the charging cable over here. First this shape. And then we'll go like this. Close the selection and tab the S shape ribbon. Now we can make a new layer on top of this one. Let's tap the plus because we need to color some things that are on top of the things we have just colored. For instance, this cable. We'll stick with the same color we're using right now. Let's grab the S shape ribbon. And now let's select this charging cable. And you can take it step by step like this. You don't have to select the entire cable all at once because that might be a little bit tricky so you can just take little steps select portions of the cable until you have colored the entire thing and tab the S ship ribbon again now another thing that is on top of the other things we have just colored is well, the inside of our coffee or tea. Let's also put that on this layer. And for our color, we are going to use this one over here. It's the seven color in the first row. Now you can either use the monoline brush again or just the selection tool, whatever you prefer. I'm going to use the selection tool. We don't have to worry about the leaf because we will be covering it later. So select it like this and then tap the S shape ribbon again. Now let's also color one of the leaves on this layer. Let's grab this color over here, sixth color in the second row. Let's grab the selection tool and let's color this leaf over here. Close the selection, tap the S shape ribbon. And now we need more layers on top because we need a layer for the leaves and we need a layer for these like bubbles. So first let's make a layer for the bubbles. Let's tap the plus for a new layer and for the color we are going to use this one over here, eight color in the first row and grab the selection tool or the monoline brush, whichever you prefer to color these sections. Tap the S shape ribbon. And I want to color these leaves, but they are also very close to those bubbles. So I want it to be on a new layer. So let's tap the plus for a new layer. Then for our color, we are going to use this one over here. No, this one over here, actually. The seventh color and the second row. We'll grab the selection tool and we are going to select a bunch of these leaves. And also this little stem, this leaf over here, and all of the other leaves except for this one. Don't forget the little stem here. 
then this one then we have almost colored everything let's make a new layer on top for this leaf so tap the plus grab a new color this one over here the fifth color and the second row grab the selection tool select this leaf Close the selection, tap the S shape ribbon. And then we need our to-do list. Now these are behind these pens. So we want this color to be on a layer underneath the layer with the pen color. So let's tap layer seven. That's our iPad layer. We can use that layer again. Let's grab a different color. We'll grab this one over here, ninth color in the second row. Use the selection tool and we'll use this for the bottom one. Let's zoom in a little bit more because these selections are a little bit tricky. Tap, 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 circle, tap, 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 and another circle until we are all the way to the right over here and we can actually go down here and then close our selection and then we'll make the other to-do list on top of this so tap the plus for a new layer grab another color this eight color in the second row and then grab the selection tool again we'll tap like this let's let's go like this and just fill this entire area now over here you would be seeing well you'd be seeing the table and the other paper through those holes so let's turn off the selection grab the eraser and just erase those parts just with these circular motions and then we need those rings let's just color those on this layer as well let's grab this color 10th color and the second row and let's just choose our brush let's use the monoline brush under calligraphy let's check the size that's fine actually i have it set to 10 percent still and we can just color these rings in by hand Final one. Now I do believe we have colored everything. And now it's time for the most fun part to add those final touches. First, let's go ahead and add some, some extra textures to our illustration. I want to do that by going to the painting brushes, which are already in Procreate and use the watercolor brush. Let's set it to 100% opacity and let's set the size to 33%. First, let's go to the bottom to our layer one. Let's make a new layer on top just to be sure. And for our color, let's grab this color over here. First color in the third row. And let's just go along some of these edges to add a little bit of a texture and shadow so here underneath the plants just some random texture and like a little global shadow underneath our phone i will be imagining that the light is coming from this direction so try to add a little bit of this very subtle shadow underneath some of these objects a little bit underneath this cup it's really just to make it look less flat more playful a little bit over here underneath our pencil something like this now let's do the same for our coffee i want that to have a little bit more texture 
here we have the layer with the base color of the coffee. Let's make a new layer on top by tapping the plus. Then we'll tap that layer and use clipping mask. So whatever we paint here, it'll only show up on whatever is on this layer. Now for our color, let's grab this one over here. Fifth color in the first row. Now let's just go over the coffee a little bit. And add a little bit of that red pinkish touch. Super subtle, but it's there. Now let's do the same for our leaves. Let's go to layer 11, tap the plus, then tap that layer and use clipping mask. If you want to save layers, you can get the same result by tapping layer 11 and setting it to alpha lock. But if you have a clipping mask layer, you will be more flexible. You will always be able to lower the opacity on that or move it around, erase it. It's a bit less destructive. So on this layer, we are going to use this color over here, fourth color in the third row. And let's just go over these leaves a bit and add a bit of that painterly texture. I'm going to go mostly over the top part so that the tips stay a bit lighter. Let's do the same for this leaf, by the way. It's on layer nine here, so we can use this layer again. And we can just go over that leaf as well. And finally, we'll go to this top leaf, which is on layer 12. Let me just use alpha lock this time, just to demonstrate. We'll tap the layer, use alpha lock. And now, just like with clipping mask, we can only paint on this leaf. Add a little bit of texture. In our next step, we are going to add some shadows to pretty much everything here. Let's make a new layer. It should be on top of all the color layers, but underneath our line art layer. So let's tap the plus over here. We are going to set this layer to multiply. We'll tap the N, scroll up to multiply. Multiply is great when you want to add shadows. We are going to use one color, but the color will look a little bit different depending on the area where we will be painting, but it will always make those areas darker. Now for the color, we are going to use this one over here, last color in the third row. And for the brush, I would like to use a calligraphy brush. I would like to use the script brush. The script brush is just like the model line brush, but the script brush will be, well, it will get thicker as you press harder with your pen. So now we are going to use this brush to add shadows and all the places where the objects cast shadows or where they have a shadow themselves and we're still imagining the light is coming from this direction so for instance there will be a shadow underneath our ipad it's casting a shadow on the table a bit like this and there will also be a little shadow on the ipad itself in those creases here And that pen that is lying on our iPad is also casting a shadow. Not just on the iPad, but also on the table. And it'll have a little bit of shadow itself. Let's, let's add a little shadow over here. I think that adds a little bit of interest. Some color variation here also have some shadow on this cable on the table then we'll move down to our eraser here it has a shadow on itself and it's casting a shadow same goes for the pencil here it has a shadow on itself and it's casting a shadow and our pen here. And this paper is casting a shadow on the other one. And this one is casting a shadow on the table. We have little shadows over here. And again, you don't have to do this super tidy. You can keep it a bit playful. Let's add shadow to these rings on the undersides. And then we'll move on to the phone. It's casting a shadow on the table, but it will also have a shadow itself. Just a tiny one. 
Shadow underneath here and on that cable. And you can imagine that the cable is moving up a little bit away from the table. So the shadow will be a bit further away and it'll come closer to the cable as the cable is touching the table. Then we have this case. It has a shadow itself, a little bit rounded because the shape of the case is rounded. And it'll cast a shadow. Same goes for these earbuds. And our coffee cup. Because of course you need a little bit of coffee if you're binge watching these tutorials. At least this person is because YouTube is open here and the iPad is charging. So this person is definitely getting ready for another tutorial. Now the leaves are also casting a shadow, not just on the table, but also on each other. Here it's very dark. Maybe there's a little bit of shadow here on this leaf. This leaf is casting a shadow at this one as well. And this one is casting a shadow on our phone. I think we have all the shadows. And now I want to add another shadow effect. I am imagining that this table, this desk is close to a window and light is shining on the table, but there's also a part that's in shadow. And we are going to mimic that on a new layer. We will tap the plus for a new layer, but we are going to place it on top of our line art. So drag it to the top, then set this layer to multiply just like the other one. But we are going to lower the opacity. We're, we are going to set it to 30%. And now for our color, we are going to grab this one over here. That's the seventh color in the third row. And now we are going to make a selection. Let's zoom out a little bit, then go to the S shape ribbon, set it to color fill, and we are going to tap right here next to our coffee. And we are going to tap about here. So we get a diagonal line here in the upper left corner. We'll loop around, close the selection. And now we have a shadow over here, but It'll, it'll look different as it moves over these objects. We are going to remove a part of the shadow. We'll tap remove over here. And we need to shift this shadow upwards a little bit over here. So first let's go along this edge. Then make a line like this. Then loop and close. Because this part of the cup is a little bit higher. And over here, it's a little bit lower again, but not as low as the table. So tap here and then tap here then loop around and close. And right here on the phone, it'll also move up a little bit. So let's go and make a parallel line like this on the phone. Then loop around, close it, and then make another parallel line here on our leaf. Because that is higher than the phone. And because it's higher, it's, it's touching more of that light. Now here we have the iPad, it's also a little bit higher. So we need to shift that shadow a little bit. So first tap here, then here, and then make sure that that line it's going to be parallel, so tap here, loop around and close that selection. And tap the S shape ribbon again, and now you'll see a nice shadow, which is shifting a little bit as it moves over those objects. Now I don't want this shadow to be too crisp, I want it to be a little bit blurred, so let's go to the magic wand and to Gaussian blur and set it to, let's say 2%, for a little bit of blur. 
Now we'll make a new layer to also create that light area. Let's tap the plus and go back to layer 18, tap it and use select. Now make sure to turn off color fill here at the bottom, then use invert. Then we'll go back to that new layer, layer 19, then to the color palette and use this ninth color in the third row and drag it into the selection. Now turn off the selection by tapping the S shape ribbon. And now let's duplicate this layer. Drag to the left, tap duplicate and turn off the top one. We'll go to the bottom one first and we are going to set this layer to add. Tap the N, scroll down to add. Add is perfect when you want to add light. I do see we have a little bit of a gap here. So let's go to the brush and let's color that in. And now let's lower the opacity of this add layer to 17%. And I want the most of the light to be in the lower right corner. I want it to fade a little bit. And to do that, we are going to add a layer mask to this layer. Tap the layer, then tap mask. And now on this white layer mask, we can paint with black to remove or mask a part of this yellow layer. We are going to use the soft brush under airbrushing for this. And we are going to set our color to black. Let's double tap here at the bottom to select pure black. And the opacity of the brush is at 60% and let's set the size to 25%. And let's go over this area here, with diagonal strokes to make sure that the lower right area is the lightest and it fades here. Now for an extra lighting touch, we are going to go to this layer. We're going to turn it on, then tap the end, and we'll set this layer to overlay. And we are going to lower the opacity here as well. Let's set it to 13%, just for a little bit of extra warmth. If you turn it off, you can see it. It's adding a little bit of extra warmth. Now let's make another add layer. So tap the layer at the top then tap the plus, tap the N and set this layer to add as well. We are going to add more light. We are going to add like those dust particles. And for the brush, we are going to use a brush that you can find under luminance, the light pen brush. And the opacity for this brush is at 100% and let's set the size to 28% or some something around 28. And let's just create some of these specks. Like some magical dust light. Just for an extra little touch, just place them in random places. Now the harder you press, the bigger the dot will become. And just place them in the light area. So in the lower right area, not in the shadow area. So you get something like this. I think we have enough. And now for the final fun touch, we need some videos here in our screen on the telephone. Now let's start with the bottom one. Let's first go to a layer underneath the shadows. That's this layer, layer 17. Let's go to layer 12. And now we are going to import an image. Just import your favorite. You can draw this tutorial result by going to the wrench then to add and then to insert a photo. I'm going to import this one over here. Now, well, it's set to uniform, make it smaller and drag it to this area and make it fit that screen over here. Now you might need to erase a little part of your image if it's not exactly fitting and tap the arrow and get out of here. Now we have our first video. Now to make it match the rest of the image a bit more, we can actually make a layer on top of this by tapping the plus, then use clipping mask, 
then tap the end, set this layer to overlay. So we can adjust the colors just a little bit. We will go and use a pink color like this one over here, last one in the third row. For the brush, we will use the soft brush under airbrushing. And we'll just go over this image to make the colors match the rest of the illustration a bit better. And once you've done that, you can actually pinch these together like this. Now for this one, for this video, let's use the tutorial we are creating right now. So first thing I'd like to do is select all of the layers. So drag to the right on all of these layers to select them all. This one as well and the background. This is a sketch layer, so we don't need that. Now let's group these layers. And I'm going to duplicate this group so that we have a duplicate of this image. If you don't have enough layer space, what you could do is either you can make your canvas a bit smaller or you can simply export the file as we have it right now. You can go to the wrench, then to share, and then make a JPEG out of it. And then import that the same way we imported the other image. I have enough space, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to duplicate this group by dragging to the left and tapping duplicate. And I'm going to flatten this group by tapping flatten. Now I need to open this group. I need to grab this layer and drag it underneath to this area. And now I need to make this one smaller. Let's go to the arrow tool, the move and transform, make this smaller. And now we are going to make it fit in this area. Now it's a little bit too high. That's okay, we'll just cut off a part. No problem at all. Then we'll go to the selection tool, the S shape ribbon, set it to freehand, and then select the outer parts like this. Then we can use invert, go to the layer menu, tap that layer, and then use clear. Of course, you can see that we have another black screen over here so we can actually repeat this process we can duplicate this one by dragging to the left tapping duplicate then go to the move and transform tool and make this one smaller we'll zoom in and make it fit this area it's super small so it's okay if it's not extremely tidy something like this and tap the arrow again and now we can see the phone in the phone in the phone. And with that, you have reached the end of this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed the process. I hope you had a great time following this tutorial. If you did, then why not turn it into a streak and follow this tutorial, for instance. I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And don't forget to share your results. And I'll see you next time for the next tutorial.